a next generation blockchain to operate completely decentralized and autonomously for anyone and everyone. Well, today we're talking about Reserve Block. But before we do that, make sure to do a research, figure out this project is for you. So we're gonna go over what this project is all about. Definitely exciting. They have, definitely have a ton of momentum. They had a lot of great accomplishments already. Their protocol was used by a professional MLB player during the All-Star Game, so we'll talk about that. That was definitely cool. Uh, they're self-funded with resources uh, from their founding validators and devs. Uh, so obviously a great team behind this. Uh, it was built off no VC funding, no private equity, no ICO. So we can d dive into that, how and what they are doing. Um, this is not built to be a business but rather an open source software so definitely uh really care um about you know the future and the crypto market in general um and it doesn't have a traditional business model so we'll talk about that they'll have zero to nothing uh gas fees which is obviously so it's gasless so i think that's um great so you don't have to worry about transaction fees uh like i said we're going to talk a little bit about the platform all the exciting things coming up on the roadmap and of course how you guys can be involved if you guys choose to do so so let's go I'm going to try to cover as much as I can today, but it's up to you guys to make sure that you guys um, do the research on your own, whether that's checking the website, uh, checking the white paper, checking out their Twitter, or just joining the community. I'll put all these links in the description so you guys to do some um, exploration on your own. I'll try to cover uh, kind of all the main points today, uh, but there's definitely a, a lot to cover. Uh, so the purpose uh, of this project, like I said, it's a next generation blockchain. It's literally built for everyone. Everyone's going to find value from this. It literally says democratizing tokenization for everyone, your block, your data. So kind of get into the mindset of what they're looking at. Um, it's the first of its kind self-executing NFT uh, architecture structure program. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about what that means. They definitely have a lot of uh, interesting concepts here uh, and again th they'll go into full detail um, in the white paper uh, so they said programmable smart contracts within each nft now empowers each creator with the ability to truly transact uh, or transfer peer-to-peer uh, it was created and developed as a result of collective uh, founding sponsors with different, uh, like I, I, I mentioned this uh, at the top of the video, lots of people from lots of different backgrounds, uh, whether that's technology, whether that's entertainment or sports, uh, they really had the user in mind and wanted to make something for the people and really something that people uh, kind of was missing in this space. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and again, like I said, this is not uh, a company. It's an open source, autonomous, and decentralized uh, layer one protocol created from the collective of people uh, really for uh, to kind of solve a lot of issues that uh, the community is facing. And uh, I think that's uh, really important. So let's kind of go over the website today. I'll kind of mention some of the achievements, some of the things uh, coming up. But again, make sure that you guys are following along and doing your research um, on your own. So, so RBX currently removes barriers and frictions, enabling simple individual adoption of blockchain technology while maintaining autonomy, true decentralization, and governance. So again, what does this mean? You control what you do within the network and its tools. It means you decide when or how. It means you can interact with anyone with or without third parties. It means that you and your data, it means you have a vote, simply your vote. Uh, so I think that's like a, like a cool concept. Obviously, uh, like they said, your block, your data, they really want to put the control in your hands. And even though other projects out there and, and platforms make it seem like it, Reserve Block really ensures that this is, uh, you know, within in your control. They really want to make sure that it's all about you. So uh, I think that's a, a cool thing. And that I like how they uh, put that right in the front so you guys kind of understand what they're uh, doing so again they have a bunch of uh, information on what this is uh, i kind of mentioned a lot this what is reserve block next generation open source layer one blockchain fully autonomous and decentralized what is proof of assurance uh, is a system which validates are, are agreed upon and a pool of them is created within those validators then each agreeing on the submission of blocks and the transactions inside of them so obviously we've heard uh, other different proof of systems but i do think proof of assurance has a ton of benefits so if you guys want to dig into that you guys can How's it different than other blockchains? NFT-centric, 
Blockchain focuses on delivering features that offer NFTs true utility and are not just a collectible. So NFTs with actual meaning and use, not just an image. And I think that's uh, what a lot of projects want to kind of go towards too. Obviously, um, in the last year or two, NFTs have exploded, but people want their projects to stand out. And how do they do that? Not just by the art itself, because there's a lot of projects that have cool art, but the utility um, of it and what you can do with NFT. Uh, do you own your NFT or do you, uh, do, you, do you need to own your crypto to use the RBX network? Do you need to own your crypto to use the RBX network? Uh, you need a small amount. You need a minimum of about 1,000 RBX. And again, if you guys want to learn about this, yes, there's a desktop app. Yes, there's a mobile app. And um, can you send other things to other people? Yes, you can. So again, there's all these uh, frequently asked questions if you guys want to jump into that. They have some great details on this. Again, proof of assurance. They talk about uh, kind of the features of it, interoperability, yes, scalability, high. The transaction speed and all this stuff, if you guys really want to get into the nitty gritty um, of this, you guys definitely can. They're presenting all this data to you. They want to make sure that you guys are fully transparent of everything they're doing and, and kind of like the benefit. Um, Here's more, definitely more into the detail. Uh, validate and earn randomized block rewards like a miner without the high burn or expense of rigs, excessive energy. Any user can become a validator with the minimum RBX requirements decided to be a master node at will. In other words, you decide how to participate or not, uh, period. So a couple of things here. First of all, uh, they have all this information about like things like scheduling, what you would uh, as assume to get over a period of time. So if this is new to you, they have instructions on how to do so. You guys can view the instructions on how to get started. They even have some uh, video tutorials as well. Uh, definitely want to make sure that you guys fully understand how to use this uh, to the best of your advantage and um, you know use their uh, system uh, to maximize uh, your profit. Again, and they have frequently asked questions about how to become a master node. You have to download the RBX native core wall specific to your environment. Um, you have to have some uh, RBX, they said a minimum of 1,000. Uh, and then what are the responsibilities? A master node, if you decide to become one, secures the network, validates that both an incoming transaction, both authentic and legitimate. There's no limit to master nodes on the network. Um, how long can a user be an astronaut for? As long as uh, you would like to, as long as the required minimum amount is assured in their core wallet. And then again, more, more information if this is um, interesting to you, you could kind of see uh, the benefits. They also have a wallet um, if you guys want to learn uh, all about the benefits of that. Uh, generate addresses, create transactions, check user balances, view and download NFTs uh, as well. And then here's some more instructions on how to um, download the wallet, utilize the wallet, uh, whether it's, you, you want to use it on the web, that's available as well. Uh, but here's like kind of the ecosystem, like what is a reserve block? So they have the mainnet. You can check out the Block Explorer, the Trillium IDE, the CLI, uh, and a bunch of other things um, as well. If you are interested in building, uh, they have some information here as well. A couple of things that I did want to highlight uh, from the roadmap. Uh, they're definitely transparent. You guys could even uh, connect with them directly through Discord. So they've identified a number of features that will enhance and help further user experience uh, while creating additional utility. They've, the team plans to release P2P auctions uh, literally uh, this month. So that's definitely um, exciting. Again, if you guys want to learn more about this, we'll jump through some of these uh, Twitter updates. Here's their white paper. You can kind of go through it. Um, if you want to, I mean, there's a lot of specific parts that kind of takes a deep dive into it. Obviously, check out um, the table of contents to kind of figure out what's the most important uh, to you guys. A couple of things that I pulled out that I thought was interesting. Uh, they don't have any direct competitors uh, because, you know, there's such a uh, new novel idea. So one thing I did want to point out is this team doesn't feel like there's any direct competitors uh, because of the fact that this serves a solution for specific common use cases uh, for individuals in the adoption of blockchain technology. And here are some of the unique values that uh, it possesses, the ease of use, which I think is important. I think with anything that you use, uh, validating like mining without the burdens of proof of work or the frictions of proof of stake. Remember, this is proof of assurance, something definitely uh, new and unique. Uh, the ability to use on-chain tools, that's very simple to understand them and then they'll walk through this if you guys uh, would want to. Definitely, it's a huge investment for people to not only buy the computers, but also maintain uh, the, the electricity bill for in order, them to order to maintain that. Um, 
the energy drain. Obviously, Elon Musk even quoted that even for Bitcoin, he felt like uh, there needs to be a more sustainable, environmentally friendly uh, way to do it. Um, but there's uh, definitely other options out there. Staking and farming is becoming definitely more popular and there's other uh, ways uh, out there that resemble mining. Uh, an obvious example that I want to talk about today is reverse blocks validation process, which provides rewards for owning a node. And we'll kind of talk about that today. Uh, but it does have the energy suck of proof of work, but allows much smaller capital investment per node. And we'll talk about that, how you guys can get involved with it. They have some great resources on how to maximize uh, you know, your time spent uh, using this platform. And I do think it's an interesting opportunity, especially in the time we are in now. We're always looking for new ways uh, to make money, new ways to be a part of the crypto community in different ways that's beneficial uh, for everyone. So uh, I'll talk about that today, but I do think it's an interesting opportunity uh, for you guys that's definitely safe and uh, risk adverse. True ownership and self-governance. So again, if you guys want to learn more about to see the latest, what's going on, you guys can uh, on their Twitter. Uh, they're always doing things to, to engage with the community, like giveaways. Um, if you guys are interested, they're always keeping you guys updated on upcoming listings and events. Looks like they have an event coming up uh, on BitMart. Uh, so that's definitely exciting. But again, if you guys are interested, definitely follow along with them. I'll put the link in the description, join the community, see what this project is about. I'm definitely excited for the future and we'll definitely have to do an update video uh, really soon. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. So not a lot of you guys want to start crypto mining, but don't want to invest in uh, custom computers and expensive video cards. But I do think there's still a lot of opportunities uh, to make money. And I know a lot of people are doing it the traditional way.